Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And this is the later Final Fantasy skin that I will make. Well, I, I'm gonna leave my links to my social media in the down bar, but I'm gonna start first, of course. Fat Axe lenses in the color gray. They look good here, but you know, it, it's big. Then we're moving on to primer, and that is my Body Shop T2 primer. And I'm just rubbing and blending that all over my face. So we have a smooth and And here I am, I totally forgot to fix my brows before I did the video before I'm just doing it here. Just removing some sprays with my brow razor. And I'm putting on some of the ball. So here I am with my Velcro Concealer and the Corrector. I'm applying that to all of my red spots, which is in the formal acne. And we're blending it with a damp blue sponge. And I'm applying my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And this is my shade 104. My philosophy for makeup in general for Final Fantasy characters for any CGI based uh, characters. In the HD shots, of course, uh, they're all like, no blended movements. If there are any, which I recommend and how to use it in my unbicycle and my unbicycle and that's the light shade of this but it also seems to be the one shade just for extra coverage I wanted to make sure everything even if my lighting is a bit strong, everything is a bit I'm just blending it in my eyes, of course. What I like about this beauty is that it absorbs excess product, especially for a really thick foundation like this one. And I'm just blending and blending. Making, making sure that the products sink into my skin very, very well. Because that's how I did it the first time I did it my child. So we're moving on to highlight it. And I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in the shade Porcelain. And I'm applying it underneath my eyes. And I'm bringing it down to my cheeks. Because in the photos, Luna was... Uh, she had more prominent cheeks than I did. Well, cheekbones at least. And of course I'm putting it on my nose because I don't have Caucasian, Asian, Eurasian nose. I have a normal Asian nose. Which is totally fine. And again, we're blending. I also put it on my chin because I want to draw attention. Keep blending and blending. 
so everything stays the same. And I'm putting it under my cheekbone also. So I can bring that out that way as well. It stands out more, especially with the cards. I'm taking another LA Girl focus and a brush. And this one is in the shade Toast. And as you can see, I am contouring my nose. I'm starting like near the tip. I tried that out and it actually worked out pretty nicely for me. So I'm doing that and I'm bringing it up to my brow. I decided not to use it with the brush itself because like the brush that comes with the concealer because it's it deposits too much product and I don't want that and it kind of breaks me out if I use too much of this specific color which is kind of weird but well whatever works for you I'm putting it underneath my nose also to shorten it a bit shorten and define because in the picture Luna has a little cute nose in my opinion at least and I'm deepening, deepening up my eyes by adding it to the sides again and just below my brows so it gives an illusion of a deeper set eye. Then I'm putting it on my cheekbones and on my jaw. The main difference I did with this makeup is I catered it to make it make me look more like her in-game CGI model, not like the King's Blade model. And here I am baking with my RC powder. Baking and setting mostly. Uh, I like this powder because it makes my highlights stand out. And I'm taking a Fashion 21 loose powder in a very deep banana shade. And this one is really nice for setting your contour. I learned this tip from Miss Fame on YouTube using a nice yellow powder to set the contoured areas. And I'm using my MAC Studio Fix and MC30 to just buff everything in. I know, I know, it's really getting thick, but it's just a light layer. And I'm taking my contour kit, taking the fawn shade from Anastasia, and just deepening up that contour again. The cream contour is nice for natural looks but if you really want it to stand out for photos I recommend setting it with a powder also. And I'm taking my C color contour effects on the go and I'm taking the grayish shade and just you know putting it on top of the contour again just so I can make it a bit deeper in color. And I'm mixing the gray shade and the warm shade and just applying it on my cheekbones and on the forehead like I said to define everything and I'm mixing the highlight shades in my Anastasia palette the yellow shade and the peach shade just so I can brighten up the areas make the contour stand out a bit more I'm really taking my time to blend it in using my real technique setting brush here so it can be a controlled application. You can see it looks a bit stronger and I'm just blending it out with nothing on my brush. Well maybe a bit of the Studio Fix powder. This is an Etsy House contour brush. It's really good for blending out contour. And here I am more blending and I'm taking my highlight kit and it's saying the golden every light shade except for the uh, deep bronze shade I'm just highlighting the hell out of my face I'm going in I'm going ham on that and I'm mixing some blushes 
from my elf blush palette because their skin is kind of photorealistic and for some reason the CGI models of course you don't not normally have that kind of definition and highlight so we do it in makeup and I noticed too that she had freckles so I'm adding freckles with my favorite method which is using the face shop eyebrow marker and just dotting it in and I'm blending it again I didn't put too much product on my sponge and here I am taking my chocolate vice palette the makeup revolution and I'm making peachy toned under eye circles it may sound a bit weird but if you observe the Final Fantasy characters they kind of have flawless skin but for some reason they have uh, some kind of definition their eyes that it's kind of red and pink I guess it just makes them look a bit more human and we do have natural redness and discoloration through but with makeup we're just adding it through our desired areas not everywhere so here I'm just defining it with a darker brown shade medium to dark brown you can use any palette for this I'm just using what I had And I'm mixing the uh, another brown and the peachy pink shade again, just to define everything. Then we take the darkest brown, still on the same blending brush. This is a charm blending brush. Now I'm taking both of the peachy pinky shades and putting it underneath my eyes. I think this brings in the whole Final Fantasy look, in my opinion at least. It's really good to just observe and study the faces and the character models you're trying to emulate. It's not just about the costume sometimes, it's also about the makeup and how you apply it and how close you can get to the character and here we are I just blended and now we're beginning with my eyeliner our eyeliner and this is the K palette micro liner and I'm making a sort of a puppy eye shape but still winging it out a bit because I wanted to elongate my eyes and open them up although in my first trial that I posted on my coffee page I just did a really really small wing eyeliner which I prefer like how I did my makeup there is how I prefer it but I wanted to try something because this is a cost trial and I could do what I want, I can adjust it to how I want it to be. And yeah. I also added a little line underneath my eye. A little bit farther from the lash line to open it up. It's one of the, those anime techniques that experts do. I'm not an expert, so I barely went in. And here I am just putting on mascara from e.l.f. It's the lengthening and volumizing waterproof mascara. I recommend this one. In my opinion, it doesn't smudge. It's really black. I like it because it doesn't give much definition because I use eyelashes and clay. And I'm using my Milani Stay Put Brow Pomade or Gel. And I'm extending my brow. I'm lining the bottom first and going on the top and then just bringing it in and blending everything with this pretty side of my Marionon brush we don't want those Instagram brows we want naturally defined brows 
and this is just my essence they put brow brow gel it's in the blonde shade apparently that's the only one available in this place. and I just took a highlight shade underneath my eye from my gold and I'm putting on winged eyelashes here and I'm putting them by the near end of the line that we made but I do prefer a fluffier longer lash because uh, that's what I used in my first trial although this one isn't bad And here I am just curving, trying to uh, make the lashes a bit more bendy so it'll fit my eye because these are new and the new ones all are always difficult. Just making sure that they fit on my eye. While looking back now, they don't look so bad. And I'm just lining again to hide the glue. And for my lips, I use the NARS Tatin Lip Pencil in Raikujin. And use the lip concealer around the edges to make an ombre lip. Then I took my Face Shop Ink Lipstick, Ink Tint. I'm not sure what it's called. But it's just red, I'm putting it in the middle so it gives a nice fade. And afterwards, I'm putting a clear gloss on top. And there, thank you for watching my cost trial. I don't have my costume yet. This is just a trial. I really wanted to experiment again. I like my first trial better, but I have, this one isn't so bad when I look back on it. Because I like how the skin came out. And I kind of like the eyes with the peachy pink tones. It makes me look a bit paler than I really am. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe and follow me on my Facebook page and I'll see you next time. Bye!